everyone, my name is Starlight. Coming to you live from my bedroom. Hey, did you notice I cleaned this time? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I threw it all in the bed. But I know most of you are here for the tutorial, so I won't take up too much of your time. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all of the feedback that you gave me on that one photo I posted yesterday? A couple days ago? I don't know. Um, but anyway, it was like mind blowing. I would like my jaw dropped. I was like, oh my gosh. I can't thank you guys enough. So without further ado, let's get started. To start off, we're going to be applying Rimmel's 24 hour eyeshadow stick in Blamed Blue. Next, we're going to apply Lime Crime's Orchidaceous Eyeliner to the outer corner of our eyelid and blending it towards the center. After that, we're just going to add a bit of black pencil liner to our upper and lower waterline. This is not a crucial part to the finished look, so if doing this makes you squeamish, please feel free to skip it. After we've finished buffing out any rough edges, we'll need to apply Lime Crime's Blue Milk Eyeliner to the center of our upper lid and blend it out with a purple eyeshadow. Once the Blue Milk Eyeliner has fully dried, I will be applying a second coat to obtain the brightest blue that I can possibly get. After you're happy with the color, you'll need to apply a thick line of Lime Crime's Orchidaceous Eyeliner, followed by a thinner line of black liner that extends all the way across your eyelid. I'm going to be slowing this video down a bit so you can see exactly how I draw my wings. The sharpness of your eyeliner is extremely important to the overall result of this look, so if you're not an expert with liquid eyeliner, I would highly suggest using the taping method to avoid any unnecessary smearing or smudging. Before your eyeliner has finished drying, you'll need to blend it upwards into the top crease of your eyelid with whatever purple eyeshadow you were using before. If you need to make any final adjustments, now's the time to do it. Please feel free to add as many additional colors as you want before proceeding to the next step. To finish off the eye portion of this tutorial, I'm just going to be brushing some blue glitter liner on a couple spots along my eyelids. Before we do anything fancy with our lips, we need to start with a strong color base. Every single lipstick I use in this video is from J-Cat's Poutholic series, many of which are exact dupes to Lime Crime's sketchy alternatives. Of course I had to use my beloved Technopig and Lip Tar to line the outer corners of my lips. If you do not own this product, you could probably get away with using a dark lipstick or pencil liner. Now that I achieved a decent color blend, I've started to line the center of my lips with a lip gloss from Sigma by the name of Otherworldly. Now this is where the magic happens. Say hello to Bare Minerals Fire Opal Powder. Not only will this stuff create a beautiful illusion, but it will also solidify all the colors beneath it as well. Now that we've solidified our base, we'll need to reapply some of the initial colors in order to retain the vibrant undertones. To top things off, we're going to be applying a thin layer of Hypnotist from Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss series. Once you've cleaned up any rough edges and have reapplied your otherworldly lip gloss, this will be your final result. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more content in the future.